everybody and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to bring you up my little magic midge. It's a fly that I've been using for years. Great success with it. It traps that, uh, got the nice glassy appearance there of the um, gases being trapped in a crown of mid on the way up. This one here I've just uh, modified a little bit. I put the uh, gills on and the wing buds on it. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. I'm going to be using uh, Tamco 200R size 16 continuous curve hook. We'll be using some A dot waxed thread. We we'll use some extra small red wire. We'll be using some uh, stretchy cord. This is 0.5 millimeter stretchy cord. This stays nice and clear. It retains the color. Years ago, I, I tried this stretch magic and looked really nice and clear. Done lots of flies with it, and look how it turns yellow over time. So, make sure you do not use that stretch magic. Med, make sure it's stretchy cord. Do yourself a favor on that. Don't uh, try anything else. Buzzer wrap. I'm going to be using some black buzzer wraps. Nice shiny material. Wraps down nice and tight. And uh, what else do we need here? We're going to be using some Mantron for the gills. Using some kind of a golden brown uh, material here, the Swiss straw for the uh, wing buds. And just a little short piece of uh, peacock for the thorax. And that's about it. Let's go get a hook in the vise. Tie one of these. One thing about tying your own, you can always add a little chain, make a few changes, see how the fish. It's all about experimentation. Put my thread base down so I get everything nothing slides around on me. I'll be coming in here with two strands of the uh, buzzer wrap. Touch that in the front here. There we go. I'm playing with my camera between me and the fly, so sometimes I get a little kind of a little far away from my business. I'll grab some red wire. For the rib. I use a extra small on it. I don't want it to, too prominent a rib. I just want that segmentation in there and red and black is a really really good colors you know you chronomid guys that'd be probably one of our favorite colors i would think come right around the corner now i'll bring my buzzer wrap in the just wrap that forward and tie it off There we go. And with the red wire, I'm just going to get that nice even turns forward. Now I didn't taper the body that much. You can run a bit of a taper on it as well, but I'm going to get basically the same effect when I uh, with the stretchy cord. Get really nice and tight at the rear. Pulling it very tight. Now when I start coming forward with it, I'm letting about half my tension. Now I'm letting all the tension off. And you'll see how you're getting a bit of a taper there with the stretchy cord. It doesn't have to be touching wraps. It can be Bit of a space in there, that's fine, but it sure gives it a nice gassy appearance, really gives that effect. So I'll just bring in some of this Antron. The front here. And I'll X that on the front. The way Brian Chan used to do them years ago, I remember that. I always liked the gill appearance 
that way we'll split your trim a little tighter if you want okay then I will get my uh, Swiss straw take a little piece and this this works so well because it's so it's a nice color and it's very thin very thin to work with it just folds up nice and I'm going to put that on the bottom so like that one pull it out tie it in a little longer it's always good and then pull it out Get your angle there. That looks pretty good. And then I just bring in one strand of the peacock curl, kind of finish it up. I like the way that looks. It gets wet. It's a bronzy color, as you know. Peacock curl is great material. And that'll give me my thorax. don't lose it there we go right there wing buds are still hanging in there okay and I just get a couple turns there whoop finish put a little dab of cement on there if you like your head cement something that'll soak in there you don't need to put uh, any resin or anything on this fly it's going to be durable as it is Wing buds are quite small, that's the way they would be. It's a size 16. A great little fly. You can see that how that light bounces off that ribbing material there, that stretchy cord. Yeah, so very good producer. That's something that maybe you want to give a whirl this winter. Get on your favorite lakes in the spring when you get ice off conditions. So I'd like to thank you again for dialing in here. We'll catch you again real soon.